right now. Can you let the people know who you are for real, Paul Simpson? Please, 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 When you look at me and my brothers, what's your first impression? Does the sight of us leave you guessing or do you understand the stress of it, the aggression? The look of no hope on me and my niggas' faces like the Lord overlooked us when he handed down his graces. You see, embraces fall short on the numb tips of street entrepreneurial fingers. Still stuck in the walls of the project halls where the coke smell still lingers. External blingers is all we can be because on the inside we've been given nothing to shine on. And the record deal is harder to get than coke so my niggas get their grind on. Because the TV tells us aim high, nigga, make all but see, that takes paper that we don't have, so niggas put their souls up as collateral now. Some niggas reclaim them, some blame them, make an excuse to sell them. But when a nigga goes from not doing to doing, what can you tell them? Not to be a nigga? Shit, I got to be a nigga, that's how I pay the bills. And I'ma do that when I got to sling this coke or exploit these rhyme skills. See, America makes you an opportunist, and at the same time, they institutionalize you. So the fact that niggas get big record deals, big money, and then go to jail shouldn't surprise you. That's what lies do. You see, most of these guys do have raw talent. They serve you. Wow. Meanwhile, they corrupt your perception of what the real is. See, they're taking all our businessmen and giving them the mindset of drug dealers. Took all our messengers, made them rappers, just flapping their jaws, afraid to admit their treason. Took all our soldiers for the cause, made them kill us for no reason. Being fucked up, well, that's in this season. So if you're negative, you're positive. And if you're positive, you're called a hater. But I maintain control of my soul because I know it gets greater later. And I told you on the last show, shit, nigga, no hater. I just know what the truth is. Been wow. intertwining this quitting for about a year. So I know where the proof is, see, it lies these midtown Manhattan skyscrapers where former hustlers like myself sign papers and pull off fucked up capers like 16 infamous stars at a time. They got us chopping and bagging and serving that shit to niggas 16 bars at a time now. The problem is in the heads of our kids is where the track is. And music is potent. It's straight to the soul, so it's much more addictive than crack is now. The high is just an illusion. All lies and confusion, but to feel that rush just once. My young bucks will go through it. So in essence, they still flood the streets with the thugs, drugs, and killing. They just use these record labels to do it. Taking our heartfelt demos, putting us in limos, trying to fuck up divine direction. But young black men have been trained to chase money and pussy. So we fall victim to our own erection. And begin to convince ourselves we're on our way somewhere, but we're not going. But ignorance is bliss, and niggas love this. So niggas take pride in not knowing. We not growing. Nigga, I give a fuck how slick you flowing. If you ain't showing none of these kids, since I was born to be real, fuck a record deal. 